Hello and welcome back to my video. Today we are going to start by looking at the state of my nails. Uh, it's not great. Like usual, I cracked three on my swatch hand and so I put gel back on my thumb, index, and middle fingers. On my other hand, you can see all the missing corners. <sighs> it was a bad nail week. And then I did some more house cleaning and made it even worse. So. I'm not looking great and because I put the gel on I didn't want to just swatch a normal nail polish because I had sort of made that promise to myself that I didn't want to try to obscure it in any way so I thought I'd do another skittle. One of the types of manicures I like to do is to do like a mysterious animal skittle. I'll pick a bird or an undersea creature and each finger will represent one of the colors of the critter in question. Uh, on this day, I had the bird of paradise in my mind, so I pulled up a picture to and tried to recreate the male's plumage. I thought he looked mainly like a steel blue on his beak, an iridescent green on the neck. His main body was sort of a brick red, and he had some yellow and white in his tail. We only have today swatch footage of a single polish the one that went on my thumb but i will be showing the others as bottle shots and i'll show you what it looks like on my nails already completed i started by putting on a milky base coat today because i figured with that gel on what are we even doing here i don't need to maintain the illusion that i'm not trying to obscure some nail line or anything like that so i'm using a milky base coat by glisten and glow i believe it's a ridge filler as you can probably tell my ridges are just too deep to ever really fill, uh, but it is a nice base coat and I do use it pretty frequently. So you're watching me put on three coats of Cirque Colors Monolith. It is a multi-chrome. It mainly shows up as sort of a slate bluish gray, but it will shift over to a turquoise, to a medium blue, and it it will sometimes go over to purple very very rarely at weird angles and in strange lighting situations i'll occasionally catch a glimpse of gold but you're not going to see that very often i think if you're truly crazy with the way you polish and just are all over the place with the brush you will see brush strokes in this one but i do find once you get that top coat on i don't think you're going to see anything and especially where i on the third coat don't cap the tip there's nothing to disrupt the line, so I find they do look quite nice in the end. I do this type of manicure a lot. It's like a fun little mystery for my own amusement. N no stranger has ever asked me, why are you wearing those colors in particular? They'll just say something like, oh, that's very nice. And I'll say thank you because I don't want it to turn into one of those comfortable things where I'm like, well, actually, this is a manicure representing the bird of paradise, actually. And as we're getting towards the end of the live swatch here, you can see, I think, honestly, Monolith was already a pagan in two coats, but I had sort of reached a peak of paranoia where I was like, okay, we're going to do a third coat just in case for some crazy reason the camera decides to make it look less opaque than it looks to my eye. There are times when I'm looking at this polish on my nails and I wonder, is that actually looking more olive than blue? There's sort of this odd, I don't know, optical illusion. On screen now it looks more green to me, but in person it generally looks more blue. Now behind the my hand you can see the bottles for the other four colors. I don't have a lot of footage for the second polish, which is Plankton by Mooncat. I bumped my ring finger and somehow I got that yellow polish on my opposite hand on my finger and seeing it on camera was really annoying me to see that little speck of yellow. So I edited it out as much as possible. Plankton is sort of a medium sage green base that has quite a strong iridescent glow. It goes from green to either blue or gold. It also has some scattered mini hollow glitter. They're very easy to get off the nail. I barely even think of them as glitter. It's so easy to remove. On my middle finger is Queening by Cupcake Polish. This is what I think of as a mad scientist sort of color. 
It has a rusty brick red jelly base and a shimmer that transitions from blue to pink to orange to gold. I wasn't even sure I would like it on my nails when I bought it. It was just sort of weird looking to me, but I've worn it a lot more than I thought I would. Initially here, you're seeing that blue shimmer, but as I flip the bottle over, you can start to see more of that gold and orange showing up. It is very much that sort of polish that on paper, if you described this to me, I'd think, uh, I think that's a polish for someone else. But absolutely, it was a polish for me, and I very much treasure this, and I'm so glad I have it. So in a few seconds, we'll be moving on to my ring finger. Uh, it has Cirque Color Citron Jelly on it. This is the finger I bumped, and when I bumped it, I took a little chunk of the nail polish out, and it somehow stuck to my pointer finger, my index finger on the opposite hand. That's what I was having to edit out of the video a little bit earlier. It's a bright, sunshiny sort of jelly. It's more of a jelly that's a bit milkier looking. You're not going to see complete and total translucency, but it also will not get opaque. This is it in three coats and me fixing that little spot I bumped. I just don't think this is a polish that gets to opacity, especially if you have ridges in your nails as I do. I very much think of this as my Tweety Bird yellow polish. It, it makes me smile to think of it that way. And moving on to the last polish, we have Cirque Colors Far North. I believe it was a limited edition Do Good polish. It is a frosty white and it has these tiny hollow glitters. This is another one that I barely consider to have hollow glitter in it just because they're so easy to remove, not that you don't see them. I have very, very few white polishes because there's something about white polish it looks flat and lifeless to my eye, almost like plastic, but worse. I don't know how to explain it, but this one I quite liked. I liked its frostiness. I liked that shimmer and I liked the glitter that helped break up that look. In three coats, it isn't completely opaque, but it's one of those polishes that I like to think of as having the illusion of opacity. There's so much going on with that frostiness and those hollow glitters that I never actually notice my nail line even though it is still visible. Here's hoping I can make this bottle of polish last so I don't have to find another bottle of white polish. Um, I'll need to find something that doesn't give me the ick. And that is the full manicure. I thought I did a great job of deconstructing the colors of the, this particular bird of paradise. I think my green could have been a little darker, but then within my collection, my darker greens didn't have the iridescence, so I just stuck with plankton. But overall, I'm very happy with this. I wish I hadn't gone cleaning and ruined this manicure. I only in the end wore it for two days. It was kind of sad. And that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope you'll join me next time and enjoy a tiny clip of a blue jay selecting a peanut. <laughs>